Well, who could forget his impersonation of Frank Sinatra? For many fans, Joe Piscopo's name is synonymous with Saturday Night Live. So what's Joe been doing since he left Hollywood behind? Just take a look. Joe Piscopo is probably best known for his four seasons as a Saturday Night Live cast member in the early 1980s, especially his spot-on impersonation of Frank Sinatra. Come on, baby, it's time, time, time. It's time for you. After an entertainment career that took him from New York to Hollywood and back again, Joe landed a gig as a radio talk show host on New York's AM 970, The Answer. Joe is a rarity in the entertainment field, a political and social conservative with a strong Christian faith who talks about all the issues of the day, every day, from 6 to 10 a.m. Well, Joe Piscopo joins us now by, uh, uh, by Skype. And Joe, you've always been a political conservative. Is this something relatively new for you? You know, uh, Pat, it's it, it just a privilege to be with you, my friend. So, and you, I have to say, if you're watching, Pat Robertson, kind enough to come on the Piscopo show in the morning, my audience loved you, man, and, and you're always welcome on my program, Pat. Just wanted to tell you that. So. Well, I, I love being with you. You were such a gracious host, and you 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 had it right on the money. God bless you. Hey, listen. Well, I think thank, thank Go you. Ahead. God bless you. Uh, my, my my father, you know, in the Second World War, United States Army Air Corps, uh, rest his soul. My mom, you know, uh, is is still the, the head of the family, the greatest generation. They instilled in me, you know, how great the country is. And they instilled in me, my mother particularly, Pat, uh, a faith in uh, in God, you know. And, and I just always had that within me, but you just didn't talk about it. But as I see this country slipping away a little bit, uh, that I felt a responsibility when Mr. Ed Atzinger over at Salem Media and Phil Boyce and, and, and Jerry Crowley, my bosses over at Salem Media, said, Joe, why don't you handle the mornings over at our flagship station in New York? It's a conservative talk station. We have a strong faith in the Lord. And I said, it's time to, for those of us who have been in, quote, the closet, conservatively, or faith-wise, it's, it's time to come out, Pat, because we need it now, I think, more than ever. Joey, if you had a blank slate, what would you write down? What ought we to do about our country? It seems to be in such a chaotic mess now. Yeah, I think we always try to be objective on the air and, and pragmatic, and I understand the criticisms on both uh, sides. But I think... And I had this conversation with my mother. I said, Mom, I'm going on with uh, Pat Robertson. And she's a huge fan. And she sends her personal best, Pat. Mm -hmm. and, and she said, I said, you know, Mom, I, 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 I feel funny talking about my faith because I'm afraid you're going to be criticized for it. But now, more than ever, you have to talk about it. And I think the blank slate, on the blank slate, it's OK to say we're one nation under God. It's OK to say in God we trust. It's OK to say God bless America. And I think that's what's missing. We're afraid to say it. That's why I, I always get on the air and I talk about my faith. Hey, Pat, you know what I can say on Salem Media? I look, I, I can say it on your show. Yeah, but I actually, I don't, I don't care who you, would, if you would believe or you don't believe. I don't care what you believe. But for me, I, I go like this. I say this: Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I say that on the radio. But they let me say it. Pat, I'm in New York City. People don't say it, it, but I really feel because of the situation we're in, we're afraid to, to talk about faith. We're talk, afraid to talk about how great this country really is. So I think now the advice I would say is speak your mind, do it objectively, do it pragmatically, do it in a, in a good Christian way. But it's OK to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. And I don't, I don't want to say I'm a, a member of the God Squad or anything like that. <laughs> well, I think God's going to honor that. You know, you, you used to be, of course, a star on Saturday Night Live, but the people on that show take every opportunity to bash conservatives and the president. Uh, do you ever have a chance to, to talk to them about that? No, but you know, I, I don't. I'm not. In, I haven't been invited back any time. <laughs> that I remember, it's like, it's like, 
But I, I'll tell you, there's more people that come out of the show, that a lot of folks that do come out of the show that are conservative, but I have, uh, to your point, Pat, friends call me in the business, show business, and they hear the radio show, because you can stream it online on am970theanswer.com. Thank you for allowing me to make that blatant plug, Pat Roberts. I appreciate it. But uh, you can get us online. People listen in Hollywood. They call. They go, Joe, thanks for what you're saying. Thanks for what you're saying. We appreciate what you're saying. I mean, and I don't even think about it. I'm just talking about, I just speak from my heart. I'm like yourself. And what I admire about you, Pat Roberts, you speak from your heart. You speak from your soul. You live what you talk about. And by the grace of God, I do that same thing. And people, they're listening nowadays, um, I think, more than you think, Pat. Well, you're a lifelong Catholic. Does that, uh, yeah. your faith inform everything you think about, about social issues? Yes, it does. And look at me, believe it or not. I have my palms from Palm Sunday still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a diehard, I'm a guilt-ridden, church-going, God-fearing Italian Catholic. I am, and my mother deserves all the credit. She would make me go to St. Thomas Church in Bluefield, New Jersey, where I got my Holy Communion. I got, I had my confirmation, and I really and I go to church, and they're trying to take church away. Pat, don't get me started. We're not allowed to go out to church. We still go with our masks on. We still social distance. We're still at church. I will drop to my knees, Pat, every night and give thanks to the Lord for the blessings in my life. But that comes from I have to tell you, uh, and I understand the criticisms. Uh, you know, of uh, a, a lot of the times you will be criticized being a Catholic. But I got to tell you, it really taught me, I think, got me down the right path. And I thank my mother for the, for that and for my Catholicism in that regard. Yeah. So Joe, I want to ask you one last question. Uh, how do people watch you? I mean, is it uh, Salem? I mean, in New York or is it the whole country you're on now? Yeah. Uh, if you go to am970theanswer.com and we're on the radio and you can get us right on your smartphone on am970theanswer.com. And then we're about to take it up. Uh, a notch, uh, Pat, and we're going to go on television and we'll let you know about that if, if we may, because it's it's time to get out there, you know, and time to really speak our mind. This, so we're, you know, it's a great country. And, and so many of us look to you, Pat Robertson, mm -hmm. for guidance, for spiritual guidance, and for all the goodness that's out there. All you hear is the negativity, and they're trying to tear us down. And I really feel around the world they're trying to take Christianity away. So respectfully, objectively, again, pragmatically, we do it every morning on the radio. So uh, television is probably next in that regard. But, you know, Pat Robinson, if yeah. I may, sir, yeah. thank you for your Well, thank you, my friend. Hey, listen, Joe, there's one last thing. There was some thought that you might run for governor of New Jersey. I think you'd be a smash candidate. <laughs> is, is that off the record or not? Uh, you know, I, I'm very busy business-wise, but people ask, and, and there is a responsibility and a duty, as a duty, to run, and they talked about it, and nothing is off the table because there is a responsibility. As we go on the radio, as you're on television, maybe going into public office, uh, that's something that I will seriously consider, Pat. Amen. Well, we'll pray about that for you. Thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate you. And Joe Piscopo, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back with more of the 700 Club right after this.